Hello everyone, this is Mark Van de Wettering of the Brain Wagon blog. Uh, just giving you a quick update on something I tacked together on a breadboard tonight. Say hi to Tux, my Lux, nice little Linux penguin. Um, down here on my breadboard, you can actually see um, I've tacked together the circuit that I blogged about recently called the Micro uh, FM Transmitter. And um, I don't actually recommend putting this circuit together on a breadboard. Um, FM radio is in sort of in the VHF spectrum, which means that <laughs> all sorts of things like lead links and stuff that you might get away with at lower frequencies are actually really kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. And the fact of the matter is, is almost anything I do, any capacitance I put near it when I touch the circuit seems to throw it all wonky. But I thought I'd at least show you that, in principle at least, it works. And I'll show you one weird thing about it, which is why it's not such a great circuit. So here I have my trusty FM radio. And here I am playing, whoa, as you can see, or here, there's actually a pretty good hum in here, and um, this is my clip lead that I'm using for the antenna for this thing, and it's playing Don McLean's thing off of my, see, I touch it, it goes crazy. I'm not even going to touch the iPhone, how about that? It's using unshielded cables, it's really wonky. But one of the things that's slightly bad about this circuit is, you see I'm right here, right around 93 FM. And if I tune up... No. Here it is again, up at 99 megahertz. Actually, it sounds a little better here. So there's all sorts of spurious um, frequencies that this thing appears on. Which means it's actually throwing power out on multiple frequencies scattered all over the place. I found like two other images of it below here. I can't really recommend this circuit for anything but the absolute most <laughs> primitive experimentation. If you really want a uh, small radio circuit that can broadcast to uh, an FM radio, you should probably pick a different one because this is just a little wonky. Let's see if I can find one. Right, here it is again. There's some more power. It's got some pretty strong hum here. And here I've lost it again. But anyway, this has been Mark Van de Wettering experimenting with the micro FM transmitter circuit. Um, I actually replaced the 2SC2001 transistor that's a Japanese transistor made by NEC with just a common 2N3904. Um, that may have something to do with it. You also have to be rather careful about the uh, the levels that you add to uh, that you send toward this thing. If you crank the volume up too loud, the the signal gets very distorted. But anyway, yeah, here we go again. So I, I counted at least four or five times as it goes up and down the frequency. Anyway, this is my radio experiment for the day. Just uh, a simple hand-wound coil, one transistor, handful of caps, and a little tuning uh, air variable there on the left, just above the left uh, yellow clip lead. Um, I could probably improve this a bit and get rid of some of the hum by improved layout and actually soldering it on a piece of copper clad. I'm not sure that it's worth it. I'll have to think about it. Maybe someday when I'm bored. Anyway, I'm singing bye-bye. Miss American Pie, Mark Van de Wittering, K6HX of the Brain Wagon Blog.